I think we have time for two quick questions. Um, so, two quick questions, uh, please. Yes. Thank you. Kevin Matters, uh, King's College, London. Uh, I just wonder if you've, because we are in a law firm after all, whether you've had any brushes with the law in uh, some of your activities. <laughs> there are aspects that occur to one like overflight. Uh, you know, it, it is, there are safety issues which we, we, we saw there. But um, in, in, in some areas, there are also restrictions on aerial activities. Have you come across that? Or if not, have you given some thought to it? Yeah, thank you very much for the question. It's a very important point. Um, so we didn't have any problems with police or animal protection. <laughs> so it's, it's fine. So we're doing a lot of indoor testing. But outdoors, um, there is this question of how to create a legislation that uh, governs this type of applications and vehicles. And there, um, there's a large initiative in the U.S. Actually, the U.S. is pioneering that. Uh, the USA, so they want to develop a framework for integrating unmanned vehicles in the air, civil airspace by 2015, which is extremely ambitious. But um, it drove a lot of discussion, a lot of um, debates how to do that. And in the UK, this happens as well. Now, the POST, the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology, has recently released uh, briefing notes to the government of the opportunities and dangers and uh, steps that need to be taken in these areas, how to create the legislation. And this is currently underway. So at the moment, you need a uh, line of sight, and the robots cannot be autonomous. I and mean, they can be autonomous, but you need a safety pilot, basically. And they need to fly within a distance of a few hundred meters. So having autonomous uh, drone delivery, like a pizza delivery, for example, I think we are still a few years off that, but not so much because of technology, more because of the legislation and the insurance questions. And yes, please, gentlemen. Uh, Robert Garlick from City. Um, in the drone uh, talk, you talked about an economic value of 89 billion over the next 10 years. If there was one particular thing you think is going to have the biggest economic value, what would that be? Uh, and then Chris from FANUC as well, you talked about a lot of opportunities. What, what do you think if there's one thing that you think is going to be the biggest opportunity that you would say? Okay, yes. Uh, Looking at industrial robots, obviously the usage of those is, is quite um, well known. Uh, I think there are still certain markets that do not exploit a lot of the technology and the, the true uh, speed of return on investment. Uh, we're doing a lot in medical um, and that is an area that I think can, can really be supported. So I'd, I'd say medical is one area. Um, and another area is obviously once we start developing and looking at this collaborative robot is actually that is a much more uh, user-friendly method of bringing the automation into the workplace. So that, that is one key area is the collaborative robot. So coming back to the questions of the biggest markets for UAVs, I think, I mean, I cannot add a number, right? I'm not... Uh, so much into predicting the markets. There are other people that do that. But I believe the two big areas is one is uh, drone delivery, but not so much in cities, but more over larger distances and in developing countries. So somewhere where the system is scalable uh, and can be very prevalent and built into the way how communication and delivery is done. So I think that's one big area. The next uh, big area, I think, is inspection and repair. So as I mentioned, for example, pipeline monitoring, oil and gas, so there, a lot is already done on imaging. But if you're able to create robots that can not only image, but also react and interact with the environment and repair things in a clever way autonomously, I think this uh, has a huge potential. Thank you very much once again, gentlemen. Um, and I think if we can invite uh, Mr. Christopher Rees for the next presentation for the big interview with uh, Steve uh, Masters. Thank you very much.